You also aren't going to see much power. This solar panel's got, I said, a good test and well done my lead shot. Look at that. That's one solar panel doing that. One solar panel. 36 volt at 8 amp DC arc. The battery's virtually stuffed. That's why it's important you have your isolators in good order on solar installations because when you've got a house a roof full of those, fires are very common for that reason. So that's just that one solar panel generates that little arc about almost 10, just, just, just under 10 millimeters long that arc and that can start a fire in a house. So it's important that solar installations are done right, especially when you've got 10 of those on the house roof. So 10 of those are all up. You have an arc that's almost 10, mil 10 centimetres long. That's enough to start a fire. You know, any sort of loose connection anywhere is a bad, 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 bad sign. So that one solar panel also left this batch on it yesterday. Or yesterday, it left this batch. As I was saying, once the camera just shit itself. And um, I actually fixed it on the solar panel. I just put some, uh, topped the, the fluids up, filled it back up with fluids. It's holding 12 volts, although it's under 12.6. So it's not completely a dead drop cell in there, but I'm amazed it's actually it's holding 12 volts. 11.97. Yeah, it's starting to get out a little bit thick. I've got things left. I'll leave it on one of the charges for a long time and see if that makes it better. And uh, look at that solar panel, that 36 volts at 8 amps. Look at that. Cooked the living daylights out of it. I fixed it though. <laughs> Nothing else will charge it, but they did. That one panel did. Wow. That's how you can fix up an SLA, just cook it to death on a solar panel. No other method could fix it. My uh, raw den could have fixed it. This didn't do it, my CTEC didn't do it, but the solar panel actually got it to start and hold a charge. This one's too smart for this battery. This battery charger is too smart now. Yeah, you need a different charger for it. Oh, staying on. Okay. Yeah, it got hot. And that was a cell that was a weakest one too. But damn, it's got some power. So, solar panel installations, they're not toys, so and you can see how they can actually start house fires. There's been a lot of uh, horror stories about bad installations and faulty oscillators, it's always in here. If anything in there goes wrong, there's a loose connection, that arc can start a fire, so DC is more susceptible because it's um, a higher voltage especially than AC. What I might even do is hook that solar panel up directly to the input of my raw damn power supply. Just hook the input up there, input of this up to the solar panel. And I've got a good 40, virtually 40 volts free from the sun at 8 amps to go into this and I can just regulate it down to whatever I want. Very nice, really handy. Anyway, that'd be enough for now. Thanks for watching.